Welcome to one of the cornerstone cities for the MFL, Grim Bay, Wisconsin, home of the attackers. Also home of the first semi-successful head transplant, Grim. Yeah, whatever happened to that poor guy? Well, he did all right for himself. He's the state mascot for head and cheese. And this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Motor City Maniacs battle the Grim Bay Attackers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If you're just waking up wondering who put that vice on your head and filled your mouth with vacuum cleaner, dirt, and cat litter, you're not alone. After all, it's Sunday, MFL game day. Hey, you look tired, Junior. And Bricks, you look like they just used your head in field goal practice. Spent all night in the ER. We ate Chinese food last night. Food poisoning? I wish. I got the chopsticks lodged in my ears again. You know, they should have a warning on them things. He's not going down. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. This guy's a brick shoot. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. point attempt it's good here comes the kickoff let's see if the defense can hold them they're going to be able to return this one First and ten. Not much there, maybe a yard. Second down and nine. The receiver makes a grab for five yards. Four. Remember, folks, in the MFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback just like that. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Should move him back nicely. And he's got a chance for a good return here. 
If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Third down and ten. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. And this guy is on fuego. Does he like his original or extra crispy? <laughs> By the looks of it, extra crispy. That run is good for ten yards. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. That was a nice piece of running, Grim. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. First down and one. Second and three. To hear. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. He picks up eight yards on that pass. Second down and two. Shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down! And it's first and ten. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. And it's first and ten. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. Second down and ten. Get 
It's a six-yard gain. Third and four. And it's first and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy's full of berserk. Or at least he could set himself on fire. At least that would slow the berserker guy down. Third down and, well, good luck. this dirty trick the quarterback one time when i was playing a guy hit me so hard i went into a dark tunnel thought i saw my grandparents waving at me in the light turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face well surprise me he made it look easy and he gets three points for it nah, that's not fair someone should call a penalty on this ref yeah Man, these guys have, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frozen. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Third down, and the punter is warming up. There's a huge gain, and this offense is rolling. Margaret, that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. He's got the ball now. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. I'm surprised no one uses the electric car. Oh, my dad used to cut our hair with that. He could go all the way. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. The 10. Do that again, Brick. 
Axel shoots in the head. Well, people like it. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. We're at the two-minute warning, and we'll take a quick timeout. Graham, will you tell the interns to get us some Frank and dogs and a couple of beers? I'm dry over here. I'll take nachos and a scotch. Huh? Wish they could pee for me, too. Call man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And that'll be second down and four. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money. And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. And it's first and ten. And that catch will give them a first down. I don't know if there is, but he sure has a good... And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. And it's first and ten. Put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Oh, man, he really wants it. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. That's a two-yard pass play, and that's not going to get it done. The offense needs to move the ball upfield. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the refs some cash. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. Two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. Straight through the uprights. When you 
get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked out? What do you do then? Run. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. Move, baby. No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! First and ten. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. Second down and six. I hope you covered your ears, Bricks. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! <laughs> and they line up for the extra point. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. He refuses to go down. for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. And he gets three yards on that run. Third and two. Scrambler. And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Second down and five. What a 
throw. And Sonic Blast just cleared the field for the receiver. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. And nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Hey, man, you see that? That's right, you can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. And he rumbles for nine on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. First and ten. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. First down and five. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Missed the beat for Brains, man, with a ball and didn't fall down. Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. And he makes the grab and adds two points to their score. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. He blasts it and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. There's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient prison break. Second down and two. That's the end.
into the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. I love that show. Third down and three. First and ten. How do you like your defense is cooked? The ball carrier saying, well done. Bang, baby, bang. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football, he gets away in a hurry. First down. This guy just loves to hit people as hard as he can, Grim. I don't even think he knows what a first down is. First down and nine. Second down and long. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Third down and ten. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were gonna tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a brawn in my bed, it was a chip wearing a wig. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. First down and five. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown! Touchdown! Well, this shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind.
And it's first and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a... Uh... <clears throat> And that'll be second and eight to go. I'm a house killer on Silla. I am a killer on Silla. Third down and long. Defense gives up five yards on that pass play. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. He got hit by a car and died. I just told him. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. Oh, he's gone berserk. The ball carrier better watch out, because if he gets hit, he is dead. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? And it's first and ten. The runner pulls out a chainsaw. season, dumbass. Actually, I think he's talking about the time warp dirty trick that the defense just played. Still a dumbass, though. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in halftime. Second and three. The nastiest dirty trick in the image of the Chainsaw Massacre, and the offense just caught it. They're going for two points. No one was going to stop him. That's two points. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing.
And it's first and ten. And they run it for a couple of yards. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. This is your brain, and this is your brain on berserker drugs. And that is that type brain getting crushed out of his helmet. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. First and ten. The defense is leaving the team with just one timeout, so they better bring the ball back gift wrapped. Is it time for a ribbon or a ball, Grim? Maybe if they use their last timeout. a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. The defense just used their last time out, and there's still plenty of game left to play. Well, congratulations. You just played yourself. Memes won't make you cool, Bricks, no matter what your mom says. And he's running like a moose. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with well, uh... Put that one in the loss column. The Grim Bay attackers lose the game. And they lost me 50 bucks. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.